beautiful day it is today. What can I say? In all my negatives, I don't have a headache. I don't have pain in my body. And I'm not too fuzzy headed. Actually, I feel pretty happy. And I feel pretty good in my body. I'm very happy. Why am I talking about this? Because in the last recent period, I have been observing in my Feldenkrais practice, my clients who have pain, who have chronic pain in their muscles and in their joints, and particularly their sacroiliac joint. And then, of course, pain in the back that just doesn't let up. It doesn't go away. And it kind of ruins their day. Some people, I have them arriving at my front door with, with the wife standing like this and the husband on all fours, you know, begging, take care of my husband. Another one, someone who says, every week there goes a couple days in which those couple days are ruined because I have such chronic pain that creeps up because I make a little turn this way, a little turn that way. And yet when you look at these people, they look like they're really healthy people that move very well, they're nicely athletically fit, and they're very aware. So what does that mean in terms of why are there some people that you just can't seem to get to the root of that pain? They've had x-rays, MRIs, they've had or gone to orthopedic surgeons, they've looked, there's no reason for a surgery, they've gone for uh, physical therapy, they've gone for Feldenkrais lessons, they've gone for um, acupuncture, they've done everything. They're doing Pilates, they're doing everything. And some of these people may be long-term Feldenkrais clients because sometimes, as we know, we're the last ditch effort. And we help them, we know that we gave them a great lesson, and yet the pain crops up again two days later and this person may have been a long-term client in which you know that they're utilizing these lessons. They're really doing them nicely and they're really doing them well. What could be the crux of that last bit piece of where that pain comes from? And I want to talk to you about heavy metals. I have finally come to an awareness that heavy metals along with all the onks that it causes, that it causes confusion and it causes icky feelings in the body and it causes uh, renal issues and it causes bowel issues and irritable bowel issues and chronic bowel issues and food allergies or food sensitivities and behavioral issues. But I've realized, I think somehow, also the metals are congregating in certain muscle tissues and what I'm finding the more information that I'm looking up is that it is finding its way into muscle tissues and stays there and into certain areas of joint like areas is it because it's not such good blood flow there that it kind of congregates and stays there and becomes stagnant and stays there I'm not sure but I do know that as the Eleanor test I've worked with a few people where we went through, had a heavy metals test, found out they had crazy high levels of metals. For each person, it's a little bit different. It may be lead for someone, mercury for someone else, cadmium and arsenic for someone else. But when we worked through with their doctor, with their specialist, to do it properly to chelate out the metals, whether they worked with amalgam fillings, in whatever way we went about doing it, or they went about doing it, when we were able to, in a healthy, healthy way remove the heavy metals what was the end result along with going with beautiful awareness in movement and Feldenkrais lessons poof that chronic pain went away that chronic pain that digging stabbing extra piece of angst that wakes them up in the middle of the night that woke them up in the morning that happened in the middle of the day, that happened at night before they went to bed, that happened for no reason at all, poof, gone. Now, is it because of chelating? I'm a firm believer, yes, I have that even for myself. Are we gonna lose our Feldenkrais clients? No. Are we gonna lose Pilates students? No. 
Are yoga instructors going to lose their yoga students? No, because it's all a part of the whole picture of us learning how to move with ease and with grace and living our life with ease and comfort and making sure that we're knowing what's in our body, what's outside of our body and around us and how we interact with it and what doesn't belong in our body. We find healthy, healthy, good ways to get rid of them and keep on working with this integrative way of living and being able to live healthy, long, strong, unangstful ways in our life and sleeping well and lowering our blood pressure and all the other things in which those extra metals that don't belong there get involved in. So let's get those guys uninvolved out of our systems, clean up your act and find the people and support system around you and keep going for doing your movement and taking care of yourself and having another beautiful day.